everyone i'm coming to give you my weekly update on my month and weigh in this is finally the fourth week the actual date because today is the 7th of february so i think it's time i know i was supposed to record on sunday but i was already on a high for a super bowl and in a way it's going to get me to come on no camera and another thing my camera my digital camera broke on me, be, me being so clumsy this week. So now I'm recording this off of my webcam. I also have a flip camera, but I don't know what's going on with this camera because I could record myself, I could hear myself, but when I transfer the videos to my computer, nothing's coming out. No, I cannot hear myself speaking for my videos. So that's another setback for me. So um, last week has been a great week with my workouts. I worked out six days last week. Five times I usually work out and I usually jog. So or five days I worked out. But this week, I guess um, me being on that high from Sunday, when Monday came along, I was very sluggish. So Monday morning I was very lazy and did not go out and jog. But um. I did my I did my turbo fire, and so far for the week I haven't missed another day from jogging. So I think I might just make that up on Saturday morning. I think to make up my five days of jogging. Um, I did my strength training. Um, I don't know if you're gonna see any see much videos with me with doing any of my workouts because of my camera. Until I can purchase another um, camera, I don't. I don't know unless I use my flip phone and then do my voice over with my with my um thingy on my on my webcam I could do a voice over with my, my my home workouts. But besides with my turbo fire I don't think because you won't hear a thing. You would just see movements. And um yeah that's about it. So um now let's get to the measurements. Um at the beginning of the journey in January, my bust area was a 46. For this month, it's at a 42, so I've lost four inches in my bust. I have to go down and lose all my bust, cause gee, I don't want no hello. My lower bust area was a 39, and now it's a 37, so I lost two inches. My waist was a 40, and now it's a 36 and a half, so I lost three and a half inches. My stomach area was a 53, and now it's a 50, so I lost three inches. My lower hips, or my hip area was a 50, now it's a 48, so I lost two inches. My legs was a 29 and went to a 27, so I lost two inches. Thank goodness for that. I thought they would never move. Um... My arms was an 18 and a half, and now it's to 17, so I lost an uh, inch and a half. My neck was a 14, and now it's a 13, so I lost one inch in my neck. Now, at the beginning of January, I was weighing at 319. Let me let y'all see how much I weigh now. <laughs> Y'all see that? Listen, y'all see that? I am so, so impressed with myself this month. I haven't lost weight that like that in such a long time. It's been such a long time, very long time since I've done anything, lost any weight like that. So I've lost 11% of my weight so far for the year. In total, I've lost 247.6 pounds, which gives me a total of 47% of weight loss. Jesus! Hallelujah! <laughs> I could not believe it. 
I mean, all I can say is this. Once you believe in yourself when no one else believes, all things are possible. Because at one point, I was getting frustrated with my weight, and I was done, had this mindset where, hey, I just stay big. I ain't no way this weight coming off because it ain't going nowhere, and it's getting me frustrated. And it don't take much for me to get frustrated, especially when it comes to my weight, because especially when you're working so hard and you don't see nothing happening, and you're wondering what's happening, what you're doing wrong. But then I guess this year is my year, so whatever God doing, I just say thank you. Thank you, Lord, whatever it is you're doing. Because last year was so frustrating. Last year, January, I tried to lose. I was probably like um, in the higher 300s. And in the first month, I lost probably five pounds. And within February, I put on two pounds, and I was I was so so frustrated. Going to my nutritionist, my nutritionist, she have to be a very patient person because I was already convinced that I was give, gonna give up because I was saying what I do went wrong. Because even when I started with my nutritionist, I was shedding the weight. The weight was coming off like this, and then all of a sudden I just hit a plateau where it just wasn't moving. It's either gaining or losing. And if I lose, it'd be small amounts. And I was like, why why am I losing this little bit of weight? I should be losing much more than this. So, um, this year so far, I hope February will even be a better month for me. Um, with the diet bed, the diet bed ended on the 4th of this month. And I guess a lot of people were on, <laughs> was on fire for January. And so, the pail wasn't that great. So, I took the the money that I got from my payout and I applied it to another bet. So I'm in a diet bet again. I guess I look at this diet bet as a, as a great incentive because um, sometimes you need some motivation, some form of inspiration to keep you going. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I think I will post even my body shots at the end of the video. Um, for this week, I haven't really been eating that much. I haven't really been that hungry. So um, I've been practically just having a lot of smoothies or I would just be juicing my, my vegetables and fruits together. Um, for anything for a form of carbs, I probably would just have my whole grains like my quinoa or my buckwheat or some couscous every, from, every time now and then but not too much. Um, I don't eat meat that much but I'm an island girl, so I've been craving for some fish. I think I'm going to do some fish this week. Um, or some conch or something. I don't know. i just been f having that, that cravings. Cravings for some seafood this week. So I think I'll do some, um, I don't know, some fish or something. Fish, some conch, some lobster, or some of them. Something, something. Um, the turbo fire, I think, has a lot to do with this weight loss because I think I just needed something to shock my body um, because I was just continuously jogging on the road in the mornings, come home and do my strength training in the afternoons, and last year that's all I was doing and nothing was happening. Now I started this turbo fire and now it, I think it shocked my body and I get me to the point where I lost this amount of weight in, in one month, 36.6 pounds. I never thought I would lose that much in one month. So, and the bulk of that weight I lost in my first week. The first week I lost 20 pounds in my first week. 20 pounds. The other, the, the remaining of the weight came up for the last three weeks. But my first week I lost about 20 pounds. That's what shocked the economy at the beginning. So I know Turbo Fire has a lot to do with this. I, I think I have to try and incorporate some other stuff at when my Turbo Fire ends to continuously shock my body because when I think when your body becomes so complacent with the same thing then you don't see the results that you're looking for. So I think I wanted to do, I want to do the insanity. I think I'm brave enough to do insanity for um, by, the, by the time the end of March comes. So, um, okay, that's about it. Um, let's stay motivated. Let's stay encouraged. 
and don't be moved by negativity don't doubt yourself believe in yourself encourage yourself every time you feel as if you want to give up negativity will come people will say things but just look at it in a positive light anytime you hear people say anything negative to you sometimes it's because they see something great in you that you haven't seen yet sometimes God hides us God hides us for a season and he's preparing us for something greater and you have to stay focused on your dreams your aspirations don't let no don't let no one no one no one or anything to tell you even when the things look impossible still believe in yourself because at the end of the day it's you who have to deal with it not no one else don't allow your enemies to win no more don't allow them to win anymore they have they have to be defeated this year and I just want you to keep your heads high stay motivated surround yourself with positive people if you don't know and see me personally I don't really keep friends like that instead of myself only one person I talk to that's probably what my sister I have as eight of us and only one of them I'm close with who I would tell anything to because I know her character that's it once you conquer this we have to conquer this this year we have to fight this. we have to win this battle this year this battle is 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 gonna be a victorious battle this year and you have to believe and you have to believe even when things look impossible believe believe there's always a light at the end of the tunnel there's always a light so until next week i'll see you guys later bye